The story now about body cameras are being used by law officers all across the country, of course. And today in Claiborne County, a group of law officers and prosecutors went through some training to show how much more valuable they can be to their crime fighting efforts. Our Michael Gibson was there. Most law enforcement agencies these days have their officers wearing body cameras. It's a tool that can protect police and the public. What exactly did the body camera show you? How That's that Melissa Hightower, a officer? former Williamson County yes. chief investigator. On okay, this day, she is leading the discussion on the ins and outs of body cameras. So, uh, She's hoping to give these officers one. and law enforcement officials anyway, information on what no, body cameras can do and what they can't do. If you're reviewing two, two clips kind of side by side from two different officers with two different types of cameras, um, that could cause an issue. And so how to explain that? Knowing your equipment, learning your equipment, and what its limitations are, or what is po what is capable of doing. That's some of the things that we're talking about today. The district attorney here, John Hubert, sponsored this body cam class because, after all, he has to present this kind of evidence to a jury. Remember, and clear somebody is just as important, if not more so, than proving who's guilty. Matt Manning, the assistant district attorney in Nueces County, showed up for this training class. He also knows the importance of body cameras in the courtroom. Body cams are invaluable, and they're invaluable because they give the finder effect, whether it be a judge or a jury, a real-time understanding of what's happening when the officer arrives on the scene, what he or she sees there, and what may have transpired, which ultimately we're ultimately trying to prove in court. Jesse Rivetta is the Clayburg County Precinct 3 Constable. He's here because the constables in this county don't have body cameras, and he's wanting to see if this kind of technology would be a good fit for their organization. Some things that could get a little dicey because, you know, people getting evicted out of their homes or what have you might necessarily be in the best of moods. And so this would show a way of, you know, what happens. And, and we do work a lot by ourselves, so this would be another layer of security for us. Video in a locker room or a restroom? No. No. It gives this investigator is hoping that this class leads to officers going back to their own departments and becoming totally knowledgeable on their body cam policies. She also hopes that they will start considering their body cams just like their weapons, something they need to know everything about so they can use it as a more effective crime-fighting tool. From Clayburg County, Michael Gibson, 3 News.